So cyber resilience for me is a natural extension of what we've been doing in the entire history of civilization, which is basically to start protecting the assets we have and start protecting the goods we have. If you have a store, you lock the store and you close the windows after work. You also need to close the stores. Digital windows, you need to close the stores. Digital infrastructure, and that is what cyber resilience is about. It means many things, of course, because it, it means what most people think of first, that is you know, just basic resistance uh, to attacks by hackers. But it, it can also be things like lack of trust, like people don't collaborate, people don't use systems because they don't believe they're secure, or maybe they, don't, they won't work. And so you, there are potentials that you don't use because of lack of trust. Partizia is a spin-out from Aarhus University and is a pioneer in global multi-party computation and advanced cryptographic enforced privacy. The technology is designed to create resilience and trust that can help promote collaboration in our digital age. So MPC is a technology that allows you to compute data while they're encrypted. Everybody knows that you should keep your data uh, safe when you have them on a hard drive or on a USB stick, you should have a, a encryption on them. You should also make sure that your communication with your internet bank is encrypted. But what we do is we take the last step. We are making it possible for you to use your data while they're encrypted. MPC multi-party computation, one way to think about it, is you can take a whole bunch of different computers sitting in different places and make them work together as if they were one computer. However, this, this one virtual computer is much more secure against attacks than either of the individual machines would have been if they had been on their own. So in particular, even if some of these guys get taken over by a hacker and, and does whatever he wants, the whole system as a whole still works as it's supposed to. You get the right outputs and no data can be stolen from the system. The technology is designed to create resilience and trust that can help promote collaboration in our digital age. But if MPC is one of the resilience technologies that can create more trust in our data collaboration, why is the technology still relatively unknown? And why is Partizia not already one of the world's largest IT and cybersecurity companies? We are providing a paradigm shift in the way that you work with data. We are providing a totally new way of thinking about data and working with data and using data. People are not expecting that. So first we have to make people believe it can be done. And then we need to have the decision makers in the room. The hard part about convincing people that this is a good idea is that usually the problems they have are much more mundane. They have not uh, put a lock on their door. So they haven't put a digital lock on the door and then they have a break in. That's not what we are helping with. We're providing an additional layer of security. We're providing that layer of security where even if the thief gets in, they cannot use whatever is in the house. Even Demgore was one of the pioneers in the early theoretical development of multi-party computation. He believes its application potential is huge, but acknowledges that understanding and implementing a new technology can take some time. I think there's potential for, for a real revolution here. Think about the history of digital signatures. They were invented back in the early 80s. And back then, that was this technology from outer space. You know, I mean, nobody understood what, what this thing was. Uh, and yet today we're at a point where it's used all over the place. And even politicians talk about digital signatures as if it's something everybody understands, right? So, so but, but that took 30 years, right? So, uh, you know, NPC is a much more complicated beast. So, so we, we have to give this time actually. I, I, think, I think we're on the way, but, but there's a long way to go.